Today, I wanted to discuss a critical aspect of CNC machining, and that's maintaining an optimal spindle temperature on these 2.2 kilowatt water-cooled spindles. This video will be a guide on how I connected a Hall Effect coolant sensor to the Maso G3 Touch. To do this, we will utilize one of the inputs for the spindle coolant pulses alarm. It says that this input monitors coolant flow sensor and requires one pulse every 10 seconds while the spindle is running. If no pulses are received in the 10 seconds, the mass will enter feed hold and the spindle coolant alarm will be displayed. The sensor I chose is made by Coolants. It's a Hall Effect sensor and it runs off 24 volts, so it's good to use with the Masso. The way the sensor works is water flows through it, causing a little turbine to spin. The little turbine has a magnet on it, and as it goes by the Hall Effect sensor, it sends pulses back to the controller. With the sensor installed, it'll protect against incidents like forgetting to turn the water pump on or somehow the power plug gets pulled out during operation. It's also a good idea to install the sensor on your return line, so that way if there's any kinks in the line or if somehow one of your hoses gets disconnected, it'll detect that also. Okay, so these are the parts I've picked up. This is a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, extension cable, male to female, six foot long. This is the part for the, the actual coolant flow meter. I've got some fittings for both sides. I bought a quick, quick disconnect quick disconnect fitting for the input side and just a 90 degree to go output. I have some heat shrink tubing here, a um, couple ferrules, 5.6k ohm resistor, and this is a 3D printed part that I made. Uh, some of the tools that I'll need here, some other stuff is some flux, some solder, uh, soldering iron, I've got a crimper, and or a ferrule crimper and uh, some wire cutters. And with this I'll set up a little station here and solder it all together. So the first thing I'm doing is taking the female end of the audio extension cable and cutting 23 inches off of it. Then I cut off the outer casing which exposes the ground wire and inside that there is a shielded data and power cable. At least that's what we'll be using them for. I then twist the red power cable and the white data cable together with a 5.6k resistor. This is required for the MASO to interpret the signals from the Hall Effect sensor. You can see how I inserted the resistor into the heat shrink tubing to protect it from any shorts. With all of the outer casing wires bundled together, I cover it with heat shrinking wire as well and use it as the ground connection. I don't have any larger diameter heat shrink on hand so I wrap the whole bundle with electrical tape. This completes the female side of the input connection. Next is the flow sensor. I start by cutting off the leads. I leave myself about four inches. Just like on the other end, I strip back the cover and expose all the wires. To make the connections, I use flux and tin the ends with solder. Joining them would be easier if I had a third hand, but it worked out the way I did it. To 
Just like before, I don't have a large enough heat shrink to cover the whole diameter. So I use electrical tape. This can be replaced later if I feel like it. The bracket I designed in Fusion 360 and 3D printed. It's quite satisfying the way it snaps together. After attaching the fittings on the end, it's ready to be taken out and set up onto the machine. So I'm out here in the garage at the controller. I've got it hooked up. This is the wire here. You can see I have the ground hooked up in the ground, the red wire hooked up to power, and the white wire hooked up to input 23. I then ran the wire down the side and out the back where it zapped wrapped onto the frame. We'll close this up and set it up. So if we go to the general settings, and we scroll down to uh, input 23, you can see we're getting a signal here, it's blinking. So if I double click on input 23, I can go down and select spindle coolant pulses alarm, select that, and pretty much it's all set up, good to go. One thing we can see here is I'll, I'll go down and show you the hookup. As you can see it's spinning in the tube. Pretty much that's the whole thing. Thanks for watching.